Hello, welcome to this session. Today we will be presenting you a customer testimonial about MediaHES. I'm Davy. I currently work as a technology architect at Xylos, and I would like to introduce you to Bart from MediaHES. Hello Davy, my name is Bart. Uh, I work as an infrastructure solution lead. Um, my career at Media House started in 1997, uh, so I have seen the company grow and evolve. I'm one of the people responsible for managing large-scale ICT infrastructure. Media House is the international media group behind a wide range of cross-media brands. Uh, it has the ambition to become one of the major European media concerns. Um, Media House invests in relevant media brands and uses their potential optimally. Media House is a customer-oriented house and believes unconditionally in independent journalism and a strong and relevant media that makes a positive contribution to people and society. Media House is also open-minded, with a curious outlook on the world. It's a company where people and brands can maintain their individuality while having room for growth. A bit of history. Media House was founded in 2013. Uh, two existing Belgian media groups, uh, Corelio and Concentra, joined forces. Between 2014 and 2017, Media House strengthened its position in the Dutch media market by acquiring NRC Media Holding, the Telegraph Media Group and uh, Media Group Limburg. 2019, uh, Media House expanded its geographical footprint. The takeover of the Irish Media Group, INM, was successfully completed. And last year, Media House acquired all the shares of uh, Media Group St. Paul in Luxembourg and received the approval for the acquisition of NDC Media Group in the Netherlands. So, Media House currently has uh, 4,300 employees with a total revenue of 1 billion. Euro. And as you saw, we are currently active in four different countries. So, given the growth we have seen, we needed to match this with the correct ICT infrastructure. So, in 2017, we created a new setup consisting of two centralized, high available data centers in Belgium. This setup allowed us to acquire companies while scaling our infrastructure along with it. Of course, uh, infrastructure alone is not enough. We needed to have the correct tooling and processes in place. And yes, one of these tools we have relied on for the far past four years was Veeam. Okay, Bart, you've explained the need for proper infrastructure and tooling to handle such a growth. What were the driving factors for Media House to choose Veeam? Was it because it provides the teams with a central platform, spanning physical, virtual and cloud? Of course, we needed to assure ourselves that this solution was future-proof. It was nice to see that Veeam has already covered a lot of our needs, and we are glad to see that every new version brings new functionality. Bart, you've already discussed the infrastructure a bit. How important was it to, for this solution to fit in that existing infrastructure? Being an enterprise company such as Media House, we have different vendors in-house, such as, you know, HPE, um, NetApp, uh, VMware, Microsoft. It was very important to know that this solution can integrate easily with all of them. Another key aspect of Veeam is, of course, it's software-defined and it's hardware-agnostic. Correct, um, Davy. We don't want to lock ourselves in with solutions that matter. It's a bonus for us that we can implement this without purchasing custom hardware. 
Now, our last key factor is, of course, and we see this with a lot of our customers, it's simple, it's flexible, it's also reliable. Do you agree with it that it just works? In many of the projects that we executed, we did not come across a bottleneck in Veeam that we needed to address first. In all cases, Veeam checked all of the boxes. Now Bart, you've already discussed growing so fast, acquiring so many new businesses, it must have been challenging. Which challenges would you say you faced in the last couple of years? Mm. To start, before we used Veeam, it was a challenge to have a correct RTO, RPO in place. The business might have asked for, but we couldn't provide a higher RPO or RTO. Alongside that, we had multiple systems, multiple tools, making it a bit harder to coordinate them and align each application with the correct tool to be used. A major concern still today, of course, to keep our data safe. That means internally and externally. The biggest challenge was the fact that we needed to handle data growth. We needed solutions that could scale so we could overcome those challenges. And finally, yes, the world is evolving to hybrid. We needed ways to manage su such deployments and migrations. Okay, Bart, now that we've established all of those challenges, let's have a look at how we managed to solve those. We approved the RTO and RPO at MediaHest by introducing an instant, a short and a long-term way for recovery. Managing multiple tools can be difficult. That is why we have migrated all of the workloads towards Veeam, so the IT administrators only need to look into one console for all of the protected data. Now, protecting the data can be achieved by using as many features that the vendors can offer. I'm thinking about stored snapshots, immutability, ransomware protection. Now, the biggest challenge was the data growth. We've installed a distributed deployment that enabled us to scale any aspect of the Veeam solution. And finally, we are fully ready to manage all of the hybrid cloud deployments across the Media House Group, whether this is an on-premises, it's a co-located, or it's a cloud deployment for that fact. You should know that Veeam also played a role in reaching our business goals. For example, it helped to reduce overall costs. When launching new products or services, which is key for Media House, we made such uh, that products. whatever workload we needed to have, we could protect it according to our standards. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have consolidated so much in that few years that we have developed a method with Xylos so that new workloads can easily move towards our central data centers. Board cost cutting, what, what do you mean by that? Previously, we had different virtualization methods in-house. We decided to virtualize all our workloads on the same platform. The migration that went along with that was so easy as backing up a virtual machine and restoring it on another platform. Now, Bart, that method we've with used in the past... a minimum of downtime. True, true. Now, the method we've used in the past, I think we need to dive a bit deeper into, into that. Exactly. In the past, we had different entities all working on different platforms, and of which had different expectations and some of which that were very complex to do. With this method, we were able to migrate every workload in exactly the same way towards our central data center. Now, of course, this method leans on one of the key aspects of Veeam, which is replication. You start with protecting the data locally, wherever that is. Mm -hmm. Next up is that we combine all the virtual workload into waves so they can be replicated towards the central data center. It's very important to note that during this process, the business, the production systems are not being impacted. I'm thinking about the editorial systems, the databases and so forth. Whenever that has been done, the data has reached our central data center, we can start talking to business and discuss timings where we fail over the workload and start working in it in our central data center here in Belgium. Now comes a very crucial part. We need to verify if this workload is working properly. 
you need to run a test plan for each environment that validates that it's good running, that it's reachable for all of our end users and for all of our systems. Now, if something should happen, of course, we always have the option to go back to the original situation, keeping all of the data intact. I do remember that we were already very confident that the workload would work because we had already prepared a lot before the actual migration. So we used Shure Replica to boot up these virtual machines in a bubble and gave access to the ICT staff to validate the environment before the actual migration. Yeah, yeah, that has certainly helped us a lot. Now, Bart, version 11 is right around the corner. I would like to ask you which feature you're looking forward to the most. Now, among others, Theme has already announced the continuous data protection, allowing for near-zero RPO for critical workloads. They've also announced the expanded instant recovery options for SQL, um, Oracle, and NAS. And finally, the hardened Linux repository will allow many of those customers to have a ransomware safe protection based on a general purpose server. For us, I believe we will really benefit from the expanded recovery options. Especially our DBA and uh, storage teams will be happy to see that kind of uh, improvements. Okay, let's discuss some of the key takeaways in this session. Veeam offers a simple, reliable, flexible solution for the modern enterprise customers. As you have seen in this webinar, MediaOS was able to react faster to business calls by having the right infrastructure and tooling into place. Xylos and MediaHouse have been working closely together in the last few years on different projects and different technologies, one of which was the Veeam solution. If you would like to test the solution out yourself, you can download a trial from the Veeam website, or better, contact Xylos for an Inspire session in your environment. That concludes this session. Thank you for watching. Thank you.